Hi, Casey here again, and today we're going to talk about top-down processing from bottom-up processing. So, we have been trained to work our intellectual mind and be overstimulated up here, but sensorially unsatisfied. And when we do this, we become so mind heavy that we forget all of this exists. And that was actually produced first. When we are in the womb, our first sense is touch. It's not beta brain waves and taking in information from the outside world and other people and social media and all these things. But we have been accustomed, even in school, we spend more time being intellectual than actually moving and experiencing and interacting and embodying all of these things that we're learning. So we're completely overstimulated now with social media and the computer and advertisements and TV and flashy things that we are so starved of actually feeling something with our senses, with seeing things, with hearing things, like actually hearing, right? We can listen and hear, but not actually integrate it. So it's like useless then. And tasting things and smelling things and touching things. When was the last time you held somebody's hand? When was the last time you like touched yourself or like put on cream and lotion and actually felt like, oh, this is my arm. Oh, this is my body. You're allowed to touch it. This one's yours. And it's become this top down situation. Every time we approach, like we react to something from this top down approach. Even as a dancer or performer, what do you say? From the top, five, six, seven, eight. Not from the bottom, from the foundation. A pyramid like this. It's built from the bottom up and that makes it a super strong, stable structure. It's not flipped over upside down like this, right? We wanna build from that foundation. Let's go back to our foundational roots because when shit hits the fan, oh, sorry. When stuff hits the fan, we're gonna go back to our primal survival ways. Intellectual thought is gonna be out the window. Our primal ways has our senses at its core, at its root. We want to engage more with all of these things. We wanna remember that there's something from here down happening. And when we flip this top down approach from a bottom up approach, well now we're listening to what our body is saying and our body, the emotions that are exemplified in our body are an expression of what our mind is thinking. So if our body is sand, earth element, solid matter, and our mind is like the wind, if we wanna know what's happening with the wind, what do you do? Do you stare into open air like, mm, uh, is it a west wind? Maybe it's a southeast wind. I'm not No, you look at something solid like the sand. And whichever way the sand is blowing, then you're like, oh, solid. Okay, it's an east wind today. Same thing with the body. If you're moving the body, right? And you're like, mm, oh, 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 well, something's stuck right in here. What What's going on? Is there some anxiety maybe? Or where is this tension coming from? But that's telling you what your mind is going through. So now we can use that to observe and kind of play scientists and observe where that might be going and what we could do about it if we want something to change. Or if someone is constantly sitting like this, rounded forward, rounded forward, their body posture is expressing maybe a lack of confidence, something's hurting in their heart, they're shy, they're timid. Versus if you see someone standing like this, you're like, oh, you're a superhero, are you? You're confident about something, right? Their heart is open. They're not trying to block anything here. This is a huge magnet and we protect this. We don't want to give this away to everybody, right? Or do we? So now again, we're listening to our body and then what is our mind actually thinking? That's gonna be a big part of it. Sausages are barking in the background again. They are, you know, that's what they do here. So when we work from this bottom up approach, even starting with the breath, the breath can tell you how you're feeling this day. If I know I'm short of breath, I'm being super anxious about something, right? But if my breath is flowing evenly, I'm like, ooh, I'm in a creative space right now. Probably in an alpha brain wave state, in a good place, I'm aware of what's going on around me, but open to new things that are coming in and able to express myself fully. That's going to help change your neural chemistry as well. It's a two way street. The mind can change the body and the body can change the mind. It's just we focus so much on this mind changing the body or mind changing mind. But we can use the body to change the mind. When the body, the emotions in the body, which is just energy in a different motion, energy in motion, it's just a different form, can be moved up for the brain chemistry to change, to allow new neuromodulators and neurochemicals to be released 
and change your mood, which will then change your personality, which will change your personal reality. And then the whole world around you changes. So try to do something differently with your body so that you're aware of it. Try eating with your left hand. Or I'm so used to when I surf, I get on my surfboard from the left side because I was a horseback rider and you just always mounted from the left side. And today I thought about it and I tried getting on my surfboard from the right side. I looked like a complete grom because it was so awkward, but I was aware of like what every hand and foot motion was doing because I had to actually pay attention to it. So bring your attention to your body, bring your attention to all your senses so we can start working from this bottom up approach to change the chemistry in our brain to make these changes in our life that we're like, I wish this, I want that. Well, just thinking it again, that's the mind is the mind. The mind is not going to change the mind. The body though can hit it from a different angle and then change the mind. Change elicits change if the same remains the same. So what can you do today? Something different. Maybe try brushing your teeth with your opposite hand. Become aware of your body and your body is going to tell you something about what's going on in your mind. So you can step back and be the observer and then make the changes that you so choose.